As we go back to work and other activities, people are asking how to do that safely. A lot of the work that we do in public health for the COVID-19 response has been focused on infection control, which means keeping the disease from spreading from one person to another. And everyone in the community can play a part in preventing the spread of COVID-19. So I'm gonna walk through the main infection control measures that we recommend in order of how effective they are at preventing disease spread from most effective to least effective. The most effective thing that we can do is maintain that six feet of distance between ourselves and others who are not part of our household. And that's because COVID-19 is spread through droplets when you cough or sneeze or even talk. Um, and these droplets can travel up to six feet. And that's why the best thing you can do is stay six feet away from anyone else who may appear to be infected or who may be infected and not have any symptoms at all. That next level of protection, if you can't maintain six feet, is putting up a physical waterproof barrier, like a, a sheet of plexiglass, like the kinds you often see in grocery stores. And that way, if you cannot maintain distance, there's a physical barrier between you and the other person so that it will catch any droplets that come out of one person's mouth. If you cannot have a physical waterproof barrier, then the next best thing is to have both people wearing cloth face coverings. And that keeps the droplets in, which is um, much better than just having no barrier at all. Lastly, if both people cannot be masked, then having at least one person masked is better than having nothing. And then a few other general tips to remember is it's better to be outside than inside, particularly in Arizona where the air is dry. Any droplets that come out of your mouth will dry up much quicker outdoors than they will indoors. And if you find yourself stuck in an elevator or other close quarters, it's best for everyone to face in the same direction so that if droplets do come out of the mouth or nose, they'll land on an elevator door instead of somebody else.